Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts in outer space. Picnic on the moon! Woohoo! <laughs> Elf rocket to mission control! In a few minutes, we will land on the moon. Very good, Mr. Elf. You are on target to land in the Sea of Tranquility. Lovely. Once we're at the seaside, we can eat our picnic. Oh, Nanny Plum, for the last time, we are not going for a picnic. Why not? Because this is a serious elf mission to the moon. We can still have a picnic. Ready, everyone? We are about to go where no elf has gone before. Or fairy. Oh, yes, sorry, Holly. We are going where no elf or fairy has gone before. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Look how high I can jump. This is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough funny business. Here's my timetable for the mission. One, land on moon. Done that. Two, plant the flag. I am now king of the moon. Plant the flag. Done. Three, go back home. But what about the picnic? And you missed out the seaside. Yes. Where's this sea of tranquility? I fancy a paddle. Oh, the sea of tranquility doesn't have water in it. It's full of sand. But where do the aliens go when they want to swim? Aliens? Nanny Plum said there might be aliens on the moon. <laughs> well, that's just a fairy story. <laughs> bleep, bleep. Ah, an alien! Uh, hello? Aliens! Amazing! Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh, that's nice. He's saying hello. Can you speak alien, Nanny? No. This is Mission Control. What's going on up there? We just met an alien. Amazing. This is an historic, momentous occasion. This is the biggest thing to happen ever. Do you think he'd like a cheese sandwich? Danny Plum, we do not celebrate historic meetings with a cheese sandwich. Maybe the aliens can show us where the seaside is. There is no sea on the moon, only sand. We can still build sand castles. Yes. <laughs> Bingo! No, don't start digging up the moon. You'll upset the aliens. <laughs> Look, the aliens love building sandcastles. <laughs> Bingo! Bingo! <laughs> I'm a bit hungry. Me too. Time for the picnic. No! Magic basket, please. Ah, magic! Nanny Palum, are you waving your magic wand around? I haven't got my wand, remember? It wasn't allowed on your silly elf mission. Ah, yes. Anyway, the magic picnic basket doesn't need a wand to work. You just ask it for what you want. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Yippee! Hooray! And now for pudding. Magic jelly! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, we don't want another jelly flood. Oh, it'll be fine. Nanny Plum, I want you to think very carefully about what you are doing. Whatever. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly! What's it doing? Oh, no! I forgot 
have to say, not a lot. Ah! Jelly plus! Nanny! That's too much jelly! Oh, dear. Whoa! Jelly plus! What's happening? Nanny Plum has flooded the sea of tranquility with jelly. <gasps> Nanny Plum! All the maps of the mood will have to be changed. The Sea of Tranquility is now the Sea of Jelly. Sorry. Sorry? The aliens will be very upset. <laughs> jelly! But the aliens like the jelly. They're eating it all up. They love it. I'd better make some more. Magic bar. No! Nanny Plum. I forbid you to make any more jelly on this mission. But look at the aliens' sad little faces. They're still hungry. No more magic jelly. OK. <laughs> I was looking forward to having a bit of jelly myself. Oh. Nanny, we can't eat the picnic anyway. Our space helmets are in the way. That's the last straw. No water in the sea, and we can't eat food. What kind of picnic is this? It's not a picnic! OK, let's go home. Nanny Plum's right. It's time to go. Well, that's what I've been saying. Bye-bye, aliens! Bye! Bye-bye! I like aliens. Yes, they're lovely. Everybody, get ready for takeoff. I will set the controls for. Oh. What is it? Fuel tank is empty. Ah, we seem to be out of fuel. What does that mean? We are stuck on the moon forever. Oh no. What? What's wrong? I put enough fuel in the rocket to get to the moon, but I forgot about getting back. Oh, dear. That was a bit silly. Yes. Yes, it was very silly. It's all because of your little elf rules. If you'd let us bring our fairy ones, we could have used magic to get us back. But, of course, There's someone... been quite enough magic for one day with that picnic basket of yours. I didn't mean to make so much magic jelly. Magic jelly? Of course! Nanny Plum, listen carefully. I want you to put the magic basket into the fuel tank. Why? There's no time for questions. Just do it. Here's the fuel tank, Nanny Plum. Now, ask the magic basket for jelly. What? But you said no more magic jelly. Remember? Yeah, I know I did, but this is an emergency. OK. How much jelly do you want? A lot. Rightio. What? How will that help? The jelly comes out of the magic basket at amazing speed. <laughs> We can use the power of jelly to make the rocket fly back home. If I'd said that, you'd say I was being silly. But it's not you saying it. It's me. And the wise old elf is very wise, Nanny Plum. I suppose he is a bit clever. OK, let's give it a go. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. Lots, lots, lots. <laughs> Please land the elf rocket in the frog pond. Right ho! Where are they? <gasps> there they are! Stand back, everyone. <laughs> Launch the dinghy. 
Doggy. We're home. Welcome back, Ben and Holly. <laughs> <laughs> we flew to the moon and back. The mission was a complete success. Thanks to the wonders of elf cleverness. Thanks to my magic jelly, you mean. What? Without my magic jelly, we'd still be on the moon. Now, now, Nanny. Let's not argue over the little details. Let's just say elf skill got us to the moon and fairy magic got us home. Hooray! <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the elf farm. Cows! This way for the elf farm tour. Now, children, who can tell me where carrots come from? Carrots come from the elf farm! Yes, Nanny Plum. Does any child know where carrots come from? Um, the elf farm? Very good. Hard hats on, please, and step this way. Now, what animal gives us eggs? A sheep. No, strawberry. Not a sheep. A chicken. Yes, Jake. That's right. <laughs> so you see, the elf farm gives us all the food we need. What about milk? Milk comes from very big animals. Elephants? No, not elephants. Milk comes from cows, but we don't have any cows on the elf farm. So where do cows live? On the big farm. Can we go to the big farm? I want to see some cows. No, no, no. The big farm is far too dangerous for elves and fairies to visit. Really wise old elf. You are making a fuss. And what would a fairy know about animals? Fairies love animals, don't we, girls? Mm. Especially fluffy little kittens. Ah. Hmm. The big farm is full of big animals and big people with big feet. I've been to the big farm and it was fine. Who wants to go? <laughs> Righty ho! Come along, children. Hooray! Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, today we'll be going to the big farm to learn about cows. <coughs> oh, I'm not sure if the ladybird should come with us. Please, wise old elf. Oh, very well. As long as he behaves himself. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston likes you. Mm, charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Here we are, the big farm. Watch out for the cattle grids. What? Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Now, remember, everyone, big people have very big feet and you never know where they're going to step. With luck, we won't meet any big people. But if we do, please keep calm. No panicking. Wise old elf, is that one of the big people? Eh? Ah! Big people! Ah! Ooh, a little toy bus. Ah! Please put us down. Oh! It's OK. It's Lucy. She's just a little girl. She's a very big little girl. She's ginormous. Hello. Hi, Lucy. Ooh, more little fairies. I'll have you know I'm not a fairy. I'm an elf. Have you got wings? Can you fly? Elves do not fly. Can you do magic spells? Elves don't do magic. Oh, so what can you do? Elves do, um, lots of things. And we're elves! <laughs> and we're fairies! Wands away, please, fairies. A farm is no place for magic. <laughs> As you can see, Lucy, this is a rather bossy elf. <laughs> Lucy, we want to see where the milk comes from. We want 
to see cows. Can you show us, please? Yes. Follow me. These are the chickens. Yes, we know. And we know what chickens give us, don't we, children? Eggs. Yes, Jake. Hello, chickens. Some fairies and elves have come to see you. Of course, chickens are quite stupid creatures because they are so big. But I'm big and I'm not stupid. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, sorry, Lucy. These are the sheep. Ah, yes. And who can tell me what sheep give us? Eggs! No, no. Sheep give us wool. <laughs> <laughs> what did the sheep say? Ahem. <clears throat> the sheep said... Bah. But what does bah mean? Bah means... Bah. Uh, <clears throat> Sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. Wow! <laughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> it's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh, a cow! <laughs> <laughs> she likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk. Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. <laughs> it's OK, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. <laughs> Yeah. And there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh, Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. Cows sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, yes, yes. What a superb example of a female bovine quadruped. I just felt a teeny drop of rain. These are the cow's udders. Yes, I definitely felt some rain. Uh, wise old elf, maybe you should get out from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. Oh, <gasps> oh dear. It's raining and I haven't got my umbrella. What about the wise old elf? Ooh. He's under a cow. At least he's dry under there. Oh. Oh. Lucy, could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. I didn't think you liked magic. Just get me out. If you're sure. I'm sure. Abracazow, up you get cow. <coughs> now, what was I saying? The last thing you said was... Ugh. That's the sound you made when the cow sat on you. Ugh. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, no! It's a thunderstorm. Everyone back on the bus. Lucy, you'd better go indoors. But I can't. I have to get all the animals into the barn first. Rex can help. But what about Bessie and the chickens? Maybe I could try magicking them into the barn. Oh, no! It's too wet for my wand to work. It is working. Look! 
<laughs> it's not magic, it's Gaston. He's copying Rex the Sheepdog. <laughs> Gaston's a sheep ladybird. Clever Gaston! <laughs> Thanks for all your help. Here, take some milk with you. Oh, how kind. Oh. Hooray for Lucy! And hooray for the little fairies! And elves! Hooray! We greet to the big farm, the big farm, the big farm. We greet to the big farm to see some cows! Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Gaston. <laughs> to you, Ben. <laughs> to you, Holly. <laughs> to you, Bobby B. And Bobby B. Would you like to play too? That must mean yes. Um, let's play racing. Fastest across the meadow is the winner. Can we fly? No flying and no magic. OK. Ready? Steady? Go! <laughs> Gaston showing us some tricks. Good idea, Ben. We can sit and watch for a bit. <laughs> Look, Betty Caterpillar is sad. I think she feels a bit left out. <laughs> I know how to cheer her up. Oh, good. Go on then, Ben. <laughs> Don't be sad, Betty. Flying isn't everything. Elves can't fly and I'm an elf. <laughs> that didn't cheer her up much. Maybe I can make her fly by magic. Can you do that? Um, I think so. Abracadabra, fly, Betty, fly! <laughs> wow, it worked! <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that to happen. We need to rescue her! Do another spell. No, no, I've got a better idea. <laughs> Yahoo! Whoa, steady, Betty. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> That's better. Brilliant. Ah! Ah! Hello, Holly. Oh, hello, Daddy. Whoa! What on earth is going on? Uh, Ben's in a spot of bother. Help! Ah, I see. Help! Help! Liberty Flop! Stop, stop, stop! What were you doing to that poor creature? We were just trying to help her. 
Betty's sad that she can't fly. I see. Well, you needn't worry. She'll be flying soon enough on her own. How? Well, because she's one of those, uh, insect things. A caterpillar? Thank you, Ben. Yes, a caterpillar. And they change, don't they? Do they? Of course they do. So you've nothing to worry about. Uh, right. If you want to help, you can find her some leaves to eat. So if we want to help her fly, we have to find more leaves? Exactly. She needs to eat lots and lots of leaves. Why? You'll see. First, gather up the leaves. OK, let's see who can get the most leaves. OK, you're on. Too many leaves? Yes, she is a tiny bit fat. There's no way she'll ever fly. That's better. She's a good weight now. Uh, Daddy, how can this help Betty fly? <laughs> You'll see. Home time! Ah, oh, that's Nanny Plum calling me in. Ben! Home time! And that's my dad. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Ben. Good night, Betty. us to feed Betty, but now she's so big, she'll never fly. Daddy must be wrong. Holly, Daddy's never wrong. He's a king and he's very, uh, wise. But how will Betty fly? Wait and see. Good night, Holly. Good night, Mummy. But how will Betty Caterpillar fly? Well, she won't exactly be a caterpillar anymore. Ah, uh, I don't get it. You will tomorrow. Good night, Ben. Good night, Dad. <laughs> Morning time! <laughs> Where's Betty? Um, I don't know. But look at that. Ugh. What is it? Don't know, but it wasn't here yesterday. Hiya. Hiya. Hi, Violet. Hi, Strawberry. Ugh. What's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Uh, actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> Hello, Betty. Oh, she looks the same. <laughs> Wow! She's a butterfly! Betty Butterfly! 
<laughs> Look, they're all flying together. <laughs> she looks really happy. Let's dream them. <laughs> <laughs> Now everyone can fly. <laughs> I can't fly. Uh, ben, I thought elves were rather good at using ladybirds to fly. That's right. Elves can fly on ladybirds. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Gaston! <coughs> Thanks, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <coughs> <coughs> Yee-haw! <laughs> Betty Butterfly! Today's adventure starts at Gaston's cave. Gaston the Ladybird. Gaston! Are you coming out to play? <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> Come on, let's fly! <laughs> hey, wait for us! Come on, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! <laughs> yee <-haw>. <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch me! <laughs> yes, we can! <laughs> Gaston loves fetching sticks. Gaston, fetch! <laughs> Here, Gaston! <laughs> Clever, Gaston! Well done! Gaston, do you want to wiggle your legs? OK, on to your back. <laughs> Wiggle your legs. <laughs> Gaston loves rolling on his back. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Holly, bedtime. Oh, that's Nanny Plum. I've got to go home now. Oh, but we were having such fun. Never mind. We'll meet up again tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Ben! Bedtime! Oh, that's my mum. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. Bye, Holly. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, let's go and find him. OK. Gaston, are you coming out to play? <coughs> Gaston! <coughs> Gaston's not answering. Oh. Maybe we've upset him. But we have such fun together. Yes, <laughs> like when I tip him over and he wiggles his feet. And when I ride on his back. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think Gaston enjoys it? Hmm, perhaps he doesn't. Maybe Gaston's sad. And that's why he won't come out to play. Oh, dear. What can we do? 
Nanny Plummer know what to do. She knows everything about ladybirds. Good idea. Dum da dum dum da dee da. Da 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 dum da dee da dee. Nanny Plum, Gaston the ladybird is not happy. Hmm. Ladybirds are never happy. But Gaston is our best friend. Can you do something? Please, please Nanny Plum, Plum please. please. Oh, all right. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Nanny. Cave. And what sort of insect is Gaston? He's a ladybird. Oh, yes. Now, let's think. What's ladybird for hello? <coughs> hmm. Oh, look. The door's open. we better take a look inside. Gaston's not here. He's gone off somewhere to be sad. <coughs> No wonder Gaston is sad. No one could be happy in such a messy, smelly cave. Chop, chop. We need to clean this cave up before the ladybird returns. Yes, that will be a nice surprise. And Gaston will be happy again. <laughs> First, we need my cleaning things. Abracadee, abracadop, brushes, dusters, soap and mop. Holly, you dust the cobwebs. Yes, Nanny Plum. Ben, you clean the floor. Yes, Nanny Plum. And I will tackle the bed. <laughs> this bed is filthy. And look at all this stuff. Old food, comics, lollipops, smelly socks. Ugh. Bish, bash, bash. Dust on bed, nice and fresh. Good. Now just a final polish and we're done. when you're sad. We're really sorry about rolling you over. And riding on your back. What's he saying, Nanny? Ooh. Gaston says he likes it when you roll him over and ride on his back. Oh. Gaston is not sad. In fact, he's very happy. <laughs> Well, you're going to be even happier now. Take a look at your cave. <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> As I said, ladybirds are never happy. Gaston, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, dear. Nanny, what did he say? He said he loved his home just as it was. All messy and smelly. Oh, sorry, Gaston. Don't worry. We'll make it just the way you like it. Yes. <laughs> We're very good at making things messy. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Key, a cobweb here, a cobweb there. Brilliant! Sit that Zessie, Gaston's bed, nice and messy. <laughs> Smelly socks and lollipops. 
<laughs> Good. Now just a final layer of dirt. And we're done. Well done, everybody. That smells just as bad as it did before. Hooray! And if you ever want us to make your cave untidy again, Gaston, don't be afraid to ask. Yes, that's what friends are for. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Hey, wait for us. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch me. Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Holly's magic wand. Ah, oh, what a lovely morning for a bit of wand practice. But Nanny Plum, I was going to play with Ben. Princess Holly, there's a time for playing with elves and a time for wand practice. Please, Nanny. I promise to practice later. Mm, very well, but come in when I... Thanks, Nanny. Bye. <laughs> Oh, well, I suppose I could do some wand practice while I wait. Now, Wand, what shall we do today? Yes, let's make a pretty hat. Abracazat, a pretty hat. Oh, it's not very pretty. And it's too big. Bye-bye, silly hat. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. I'm practising my magic. Do you want to see? Uh, OK. Stand very still. I'll make you a new hat. Abracazat, magic Ben a hat. Oh. Ben, are you in there? Oh, it's empty. I've turned Ben into a hat. Gosh, what a big hat. Uh, it's Ben. I accidentally turned him into a hat. Princess Holly, that's exactly why you need to practice your magic more. I was practicing, but it all went a bit wrong. I expect you waved your wand all over the place. I tried waving it right, but this wand is no good. Now, now, a good fairy never blames her wand. Yes, Nanny Plum. I have a good mind to leave Ben as a hat, just to teach you a lesson. Please turn Ben back, Nanny. I don't think he likes being a hat. <laughs> oh, very well. Watch and learn. Ding dong den, hat to Ben. What happened? Uh, things went a bit wrong, but Nanny Plum came to the rescue. Thank you, Nanny Plum. You're welcome, Ben. Now, Holly, next time, shake the wand gently. Yes, Nanny. Sorry, Ben. Were you scared? I'm an elf. Elves are never scared. <laughs> Good. In that case, can I try again? Um, maybe later. See you. Bye, Ben. <laughs> Princess Holly, 
What have you forgotten? Uh. Your wand. Where is it? Oh, I don't seem to have it. You haven't lost it, have you? Oh, I know. I left it in the meadow. I'm sure I left my wand here. It's gone! <laughs> Hi, Ollie. <laughs> Hi, Ben. What's wrong? I've lost my wand. I can't do magic anymore. Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm never going to find my wand and I'll be sad forever. <laughs> Cheer up, Holly. I will find your wand. How? Elves are very good at finding things. And I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ben. But if I find your wand, you must promise not to turn me into a hat again. I promise. But, Ben, how are you going to find my wand? I've got a simple plan. Oh, goody. <laughs> First, try to remember where you left your wand. In your bedroom, perhaps, or in... There. Oh. That's where I left it. Ah. What's the next bit of your plan? Um, that was the plan. Ah. Oh, I knew you'd never find it. <coughs> oh, look, it's Gaston the ladybird. Maybe he can help. Hi, Gaston. <coughs> Can you help us find Holly's wand? It was here, and now it's not. <laughs> Gaston's good at smelling things. He'll find your wand in no time. Clever Gaston! <laughs> oh, why has Gaston stopped? He's looking up into the sky. So that's where your wand has gone. How? Um, can your wand fly? My wand is magic, but I don't think it can fly. Well, it's up there somewhere. If only it could talk to us and tell us where it is. That's easy. It can't talk, but it can make a sort of tinkly sound. Great! Could you call to it? OK. Wand! I oh, wand! That's my wand! It's coming from up there! It's a jackdaw! And it's got my wand! Jackdaws like shiny things! It's very high up! And I'm not allowed to fly high! No problem! I'll climb up! Be careful, Ben! Don't worry, Holly! Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <coughs> nice birdie. Can we have our wand back, please? <coughs> you, that was lucky. Wow, Ben. Tricking the jackdaw to open its mouth. I would never have thought of that. Uh, yes. Elves are very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> ah, ah. We should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. OK. Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up! Giddy up! <laughs> Ben found my wand. That's very nice. But you really shouldn't have lost it in the first place. Yes, Nanny Plum. Now, Ben, I understand we have you to thank for finding Holly's wand. <laughs> it was nothing, really. I think a reward is in order. I hear you want a new magic hat. Um... Yes, it can be my thank you to Ben. 
No, please, don't bother. Stay very still, Ben. And Holly, wave the wand gently. Yes, Nanny Plum. Abracazat, Magic Ben, a hat. Wow, it worked. It's all down to wand control. <laughs> and it's a nice cowboy hat. Ben, thanks for finding my wand. Sorry I didn't believe your plan would work. And I'm sorry I didn't trust your magic hat spell. Oh no, the magic hat has turned Ben blue. How do I look? Um, I think your old hat suits you better. Me too. Abracazobadoo. Ah, it's good to have my old hat back again. And it's nice to have you back, Wand. I will never lose you again. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. The Toy Robot. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Ben. Coming out to play. I'll be right down. Hi, Gaston. <coughs> Let's play in the meadow. <laughs> Gaston, fetch. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hello, Hello Barnaby. Barnaby. What are you doing? We're throwing sticks for Gaston. Gaston likes fetching sticks. <laughs> 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 Not a stick. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi Strawberry. <gasps> What's that? It looks like a tin arm. Gaston, where did you find this? <laughs> wow. wow. What's that? It's a toy robot. Ooh. It's a bit broken. We could mend it with magic. Uh, no thanks, Strawberry. We'll fix it the elf way. Elves are very good at fixing things. And we're elves! <laughs> there! Finished! Ooh. So, will it talk? Will it make me a cup of tea? No, it's just a toy robot. It'll do this. That's a bit boring. It isn't boring. That's what toy robots do. Let's switch it on. It doesn't do anything. Oh, maybe it needs batteries. No, it's clockwork. But there's no key. Our magic a key. Oh, Holly, I don't think we should use a magic key. Magic can be dangerous. I'm sure it will be OK. Whatever happens, it will be fun. Mm, all right. <coughs> Shush, Gaston. <coughs> OK, let's see what happens. It's working! Master, what is your name? Ooh. Is that what it's supposed to do? I don't know. Uh, I'm Ben Elf. Ben Elf, you are my master. We thought robots went er, er, er. to my master, Ben Elf. Robot, uh, put the fairies down, please. Yes, Ben Elf. And say sorry. Sorry. That was a bit scary. Hmm, it's not like a normal toy robot. I think my key might have made it a bit magic. But it seems to do what I say. 
so we should be okay. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, wise old elf. What do you have there? We found a toy robot. It was broken, so we mended it. Well done. Ah, yes. This is the old Mark Z33 built by the Elf Factory. Hmm, it was a rather basic model. Uh, please don't get it angry. I beg your pardon, Ben Elf. You talk as if it can understand. Well, it does seem to. It's just a toy robot, only capable of going... Ah, 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 ah. Put me down, you silly robot. You are a rude old elf. Ooh. Robot, put the wise old elf down. Yes, bad elf. Oh, oh very strange. I, I don't remember the Z-33 being able to talk. It's escaping! We'd better get it back. Da, da, da. Do da di da 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 la la da dum di da 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 di da di. What a beautiful sound! Da da di dum da dum di da. Oh, where's it gone? Ah! That sounds like Nanny Plum. Help! Help! <gasps> Robot, put Nanny Plum down. Yes. Ben Elf. Oof! Oh, thank you, Ben. What is this thing? It's just a toy robot. But it does anything Ben says. Really? Yes. Watch this. Robot, clean up the courtyard. Must clean up. Must clean up. Must clean up. It's very good, isn't it? I'd like one of those to do all my cleaning. You can Must borrow my robot up. if you want to. That's very up. kind of you, Ben. Must Maybe I'll borrow it just for this evening. Must OK, robot, I'm going home now. But I want you to stay here and tidy the castle. Yes, Ben Elf. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. My goodness. Must tidy What's up. this? It's Must Ben's robot. Nanny has borrowed it to tidy up the castle. It looks like it's doing a very good job. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Hmm. I think I prefer the traditional fairy way. Dinner time! Oh, oh dinner! dinner. Ah, I expect the robot has come to serve us our dinner. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Oh, Must tidy goodness up. me. I think we should tell this robot to stop. We can't. The robot only listens to Ben. So what can we do? Uh, Ben told the robot to tidy the whole castle. So maybe we should go to bed and let the robot finish. Good idea, Holly. The robot should have finished tidying by morning. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. What? Is it morning already? Uh. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Put me down! Put me down! Uh. Uh. Goodness me! What's happening? The robot is tidying up everything. Yes, including us. It's a monster. How do we stop it? Only Ben can stop it. Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Sorry, it is a bit late, but this is an emergency. We need Ben. Now. Right-o. Ben. There's an emergency at the little castle. We have to go right away. Right-o! Elves to the rescue! <laughs> Who's the best at rescuing? Elves are best at rescuing. And what are we? We're elves! <laughs> it's the elves! Hooray! Look, there's my robot. Ah! Put me down! Oof! 
Dead Elf. Master, master, master. Oh, it's wound down. Hooray! But what could have caused the toy robot to act so strangely? Uh, I think it was my magic key that did it. Ah, magic. <laughs> what have you got there, Gaston? <laughs> it's the proper key. Well, well done, done, Gaston. <laughs> uh, Ben, are you sure that's a good idea? It'll be fine. <laughs> ah, that's the toy robot I remember. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> 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 Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The Elf Farm. Nanny Plum, where's breakfast? So sorry, Your Majesty, but the elves haven't delivered the food yet. A boiled egg is all I want, Nanny. Can't you just magic one? I could magic an egg, of course. But real farm eggs taste much better. I don't care. I'm hungry and I would like an egg now. Very well, Your Majesty. Abracadabra. Uh, boiled eggy. Ugh. Ooh, smelly. That's disgusting. What is it? It's a dragon's egg. Well, get rid of it. I could magic a real chicken to lay an egg for you. No, don't. I think I'll wait for the elf farm delivery. It might take some time, Your Majesty. I am not leaving this table until I've had my egg. As you wish, Your Majesty. <coughs> Nanny, they're here. <laughs> <coughs> Food delivery! What kept you, Mr Elf? King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Sorry, Nanny Plum. We dropped a carrot on the way and had to go back to pick it up. OK. Let's get this food into the castle. Carrot, tomato, small lettuce. Oh, but where's the egg? <gasps> the egg? That's the one thing we need. The king wants an egg. We'll go straight back to the elf farm and get one. Holly, do you want to come with us? Yes, please. Nanny, can I go to the elf farm? OK, Holly. You can make sure we get a good egg. That buzzing noise. I hope it's not the engine. It's Gaston the ladybird. Gaston, we're going to the elf farm. Do you want to come along? Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Old elf. Hello, Princess Holly. Welcome to the elf farm. <laughs> you must wear this hard hat. What for? In case something falls on your head. Ooh. This way to the carrots. <laughs> this is the carrot field. Ooh. Stand clear! Carrot coming up! Wow! Oh, hello, Princess Holly. Hello, Mrs. Elf. <laughs> this way. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is the lettuce patch. Clear the area. Clear the area. Clear the area. Clear the area. Wow. 
Why have you got an umbrella? We are going to make it rain. With magic? You don't need magic if you have a big watering can. Wow. Push, push, go, push, push, go, push, go, push, go. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> if you think that's amazing, wait until you see the tomato plants. Ooh. These are the tomato plants. Wow. I'm afraid we have tomato bugs. Oh, dear. Tomato bugs like to eat the tomato plants. Go away. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh, they keep coming back. Yes, if only we could find a way to get rid of them. <laughs> Gaston scared them away. Of course. Ladybirds like to eat tomato bugs. Clever, Gaston. You should be our chief pest controller. <laughs> <laughs> now we can harvest a tomato. Carry on. right -o. Tomato! <laughs> that looks dangerous. It is. That's why we wear these hard hats. But there's another job. That's really dangerous. Ooh, what's that? Can I see? It can be quite scary. I'm not afraid. It is possibly the most dangerous job in the world for an elf. What is it? Collecting eggs. What's so dangerous about collecting eggs? Chickens. <laughs> Wow, they're big, aren't they? Yes, that's why we have this high fence. And why it's very important to lock this gate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, exciting! Wait, <laughs> Princess Holly! These chickens don't look dangerous. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. <laughs> oh dear. Now you see how important it is that the gate is locked at all times. A chicken's escaped! Catch that chicken! <laughs> A chicken's escaped! Whoa, whoa. Follow that chicken. Oh, no! The clockwork has wound down! Quick, Ollie! Let's wind it up! Oh, hello! Will somebody give me an egg? Now! Goodness me! Nanny Plum! I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my chicken. Nanny, can you speak chicken? Yes, Your Majesty. So, what did it say? 
Mrs. Chicken said... Oh. Look, there's our chicken. Careful, Nanny Plum. That is a dangerous animal. Don't be silly. It's just a chicken. <laughs> the chicken's laid an egg. Hooray! Hooray! Mmm, yes. A much better service than the elf truck. Eh? What? Nanny Plum, could you ask Mrs Chicken to deliver an egg for breakfast tomorrow? Certainly, Your Majesty. Ahem. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Nanny Plum's Lesson Holly, Violet and Strawberry, are you ready for today's fairy lesson? Yes, Nanny Plum. <laughs> today's lesson is about... Who can that be? Ah, oh, Ben Elf. Hello, Nanny Plum. It's Holly in. I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to play with elves or insects. Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. Hi, Holly. Nanny Plum's giving us a lesson. Do you want to join in? Yes, please. Actually, it's a fairy lesson. Please, Nanny, let Ben stay. But Ben's missed the beginning. And I don't want to repeat everything I've said. But all you've said is... <laughs> Today's lesson is about... Please let Ben stay. Please, Please Nanny Plum. Plum. OK. As long as Ben just sits quietly and watches. I suppose even an elf might learn something. Thanks, Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're joining us too, are you? Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> now, where was I? Ahem. <laughs> Today's lesson is about... Thank you, Strawberry. Today's lesson is about some important fairy rules. Ooh! Rule one. Fairies must look nice. Hair lovely. Clothes stylish. Skin beautifully clean. <laughs> Elves and ladybirds, of course, need not worry about such things. Rule two. Fairies should never, ever be without their wands. Who knows why? Without wands, fairies can't do magic tricks. Yes, Ben. We need wands to do magic. A fairy without her wand is like a... like a ladybird without her spots. <coughs> Nanny, Gaston's a boy ladybird. Whatever. The important thing is, fairies must look after their wands. Yes, yes Nanny Plum. Rule three. If it's windy, like today, fairies should be careful about flying. As long as I fly low, I'll be fine. But on a day like today, no one should fly above the castle walls. It's very windy up here. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. So, what have we learned? Fairies should always look nice. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Fairies mustn't fly in strong winds. Very good. You see? Even I find it difficult when the wind is so... <coughs> oh, Nanny Plum's gone. Was that meant to happen? I don't think so. <laughs> Nanny's left her wand behind And a fairy without a wand Is like a ladybird without his spots Poor Nanny! What can we do? I've got a simple plan We find Nanny, we rescue her Then we give Nanny her wand But we don't know how to find her And we don't know how to rescue her and we're not allowed to touch Nanny Plum's wand. Then it's a good thing I'm here. I can do all those things because I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston, 
find Nanny Plum. <laughs> Gaston will sniff her out in no time. <laughs> Hooray for Gaston! <laughs> There's Nanny Plum. Stage one completed. Hello! How did you find me so quickly? Gaston followed your smell. My smell? For your information, I do not smell. Nanny, we've got your wand. Polly, you know you're not allowed to touch my wand. It could be very dangerous. But we just wanted to help you. And you said a fairy should never be without her wand. So we're here to rescue you and give you back your wand. Well, that's very nice of you all, but... Stage two, the rescuing bit. Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. Uh, that sounds dangerous. I think I'll just wait for the wind to drop and then I'll fly down. Are you sure you don't want to be rescued, Nanny? Quite sure. This isn't quite what I had planned. But now we're all together again, let's resume the lesson. Uh, Nanny Plum, are you sure that leaf can take your weight? My weight? Young man, I'll have you know I'm as light as a feather. Now, where was I? The last thing you said was... Even I find it difficult to fly when the wind is so... That's the sound you made when the wind blew you away. Woo! Ah, yes. Thank you, Strawberry. Even I find it difficult to... Woo! 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 Nanny, are you OK? Uh, yes. At least I'm dry. <laughs> Nanny's wings are soaking wet. She can't fly, so she's stuck on that little island. Nanny Plum, are you ready to be rescued? Uh, no. I'll wait for my wings to dry and then I'll fly over to you. <coughs> I think that bird's looking for worms. <laughs> I hope Mrs Bird doesn't mistake me for a worm. Woo! 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 <coughs> Plums in a bird's nest. I'll be all right as long as the eggs don't hatch. Oh dear. Those baby birds look hungry. Oh bother! My wings are still wet. Maggie <laughs> Plum! It's not pleasant, but it's only mud. I think it's quicksand. Nanny Plum is sinking into the ground. Uh, Fan, I'm ready to be rescued now. Fantastic! Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. She's too heavy! Gaston, pull harder! Ooh, hooray! Ooh, Nanny Plum, you smell horrible. Well, at least no one else was here to see all that. My goodness, is that you, Nanny Plum? Uh, yes, Queen Thistle. I'm just teaching the children a few fairy rules. Excellent. And what fairy rules are you teaching? Rule one. Fairies must always look nice. Hair lovely, clothes stylish, skin beautifully clean. Uh, yes. I've been showing the children what not to do. Rule two. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Uh, yes, yes, Strawberry. King Thistle doesn't want to know all the little details. Quite right. You seem to have everything under control, Nanny Plum. Please carry on. Thank you, your royalness. Did you notice that Nanny Plum seemed a bit smelly? I thought it was the ladybird. Now, where was I? You had just shouted, Woo! Uff! 
That's the sound you made as you landed in the mud. Ugh. Thank you, Strawberry. Actually, that brings today's lesson to a close. That was a brilliant lesson, especially the adventure bits. I'm pleased you enjoyed it, Ben. And thank you for rescuing me. Ah, oh, it's nice to have you back. Hair be lovely, clothes have style, skin beautifully clean. Nanny Plum, you look lovely and pretty again. Thank you, Strawberry. Now, children, what do you think I've learnt today? Um, what to shout when you fall out of trees and stuff? <laughs> no. I've learnt it's good to have friends around when you need them, whether they are fairies or elves. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. Sorry, Gaston. Or ladybirds. <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The Royal Fairy Picnic. This is a perfect day for a Royal Fairy Picnic. Good idea, Queen Thistle. Hooray! I love picnics. Nanny Plum, prepare the Royal Picnic Basket. Yes, Your Majesty. And will we be having magic jelly for pudding? Uh, maybe we should give the magic jelly a miss this year. But we always have magic jelly at the Royal Picnic. Well, if you promise not to flood the entire kingdom with jelly, like last year... Trust me, Your Majesty, nothing will go wrong this time. Mummy, can Ben come on the picnic? But Holly, Ben is an elf. And this is a royal fairy picnic. Please, can Ben come? He's my best friend. Well, I suppose, as he's your best friend. Hooray! I'll ring him. Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Can I speak to Ben, please? Righto. Ben, it's Princess Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Would you like to come on the Royal Fairy Picnic today? Yes, please. Good. Come to the castle as quick as you can. <coughs> Mum, I've been invited on the Royal Fairy Picnic. How lovely. You'll need plenty of food so you have enough to share. What would you like? Um, pies, cheese and some fruit, please. <coughs> I'll put in a whole strawberry. Then you'll have enough for everyone. Thanks, Mum. Bye. See you later. Look, everyone. It's Ben. <gasps> Hello, everyone. Oh, oh, this should be fun. We've never had an elf on our royal picnic before. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. That looks heavy. Can I help you carry it? Oh, thanks, Ben. Oh, but it's really light. It's a magic basket. Uh, don't worry, Ben. You'll see. <laughs> Look, it's Gaston the ladybird. Hi, Gaston. Daddy, can Gaston join our picnic? Hmm, I'm not sure. What did he say? Nanny Plum can speak ladybird language. <coughs> Gaston says he would like the pleasure of joining Princess Holly and Ben Elf on the Royal Fairy Picnic, Your Majesty. Very well. It's just a pity he's a bit smelly. <coughs> Nanny Plum, can you translate that? Yes, I can, but I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the royal picnic spot. Hooray! <laughs> What's this? It's food for the picnic. You mean you actually bring food with you to a picnic? Uh, yes. It's probably some strange elf custom, Your Majesty. Oh, oh how charming. I've got plenty of food for everyone. Thanks, Ben. But fairies don't eat elf food. We have our own special fairy food. Here it is. Oh, 
food, but the basket is empty. You've forgotten your food. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Ben. It isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. It can give us anything we want. Let's start with the drinks. I feel like some sparkling fairy juice. Magic basket oh so old. Let's have fairy juice, sparkling and cold. Wow! Oh, yes, young elf. It is rather impressive. Ben, perhaps you would like to choose the drinks for the children. It can be anything you like. Anything? Can I really ask for anything? Yes, anything at all. Hmm, OK. Lemonade, please. Isn't that a bit boring and ordinary? Elves like lemonade. And I'm an elf. <laughs> but, Ben, you can have anything you like in the whole wide world. In that case, lemonade with a dollop of ice cream. Are you sure you wouldn't like something more exotic? OK. Lemonade with two dollops of ice cream. <laughs> Good choice, Ben. Magic basket, please. Lemonade with lots of ice cream. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Holly. <laughs> Don't forget Gaston. Hmm. What do ladybirds like to drink? <laughs> they like smelly things. That's right. By a ladybird's growl, may the next drink be foul. <laughs> Ugh. Nanny, you've made it too stinky, even for Gaston. Nonsense! Ladybirds love rotten cabbage juice. <laughs> now for the main course. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Ooh. And now for pudding. Hooray! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, please don't make too much this time. We don't want a repeat of last year's jelly flood. What's happened? Holly, Daisy and Poppy always help me make the pudding. But last year we made a bit too much and we... Flooded the whole kingdom with jelly. <laughs> I remember the jelly flood. Was that you? <laughs> yes, that was us. It was rather spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not going to happen again, is it, Nanny Plum? Don't worry, Your Majesty. We've been practising safe new words that keeps the quantity down. Come along, girls. Can I help too? Yes, Ben. Children, repeat after me. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Magic basket, please. Jelly, 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 but not a lot. Hooray! Oh, they're a bit small. They are quite little, aren't they? Yes, we'll need more. OK, let's try this. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Phew! For a moment there, I thought we were going to have another jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood! Jelly flood! Jelly flood! Ah! Oh! Oh! Jelly flood! <laughs> Nanny, there's too much jelly. Stop it, Nanny! Shazam, shazing! Magic pudding! Shrink, shrink, shrink! Nanny, try a stronger spell. I could use the stop magic spell, but that's only for royal emergencies. I declare this a royal emergency. Thunder and lightning, north wind blow. Magic spells, away you go. <coughs> it worked. Hooray! Hooray! Nanny, where's our food? Sorry, I had to stop all the magic, and that included our magic picnic. That's strange. My food is still here. That's because it wasn't made by magic. And luckily, 
I've enough for everyone. Thank you, Ben. But Nanny, you said fairies don't eat elf food. Uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Princess Holly. We can have a nice time without a picnic. Let's sit and enjoy the view. Mmm, yummy. I'm a bit hungry. Me too. Hmm, I don't believe I've ever eaten elf food before. Would you like to try some, King Thistle? Oh, thank you, Ben. Yum, yum. Mmm, elf food is delicious. It really is. Nanny Plum, you must try some. Oh, very well, Your Majesty, seeing as it's a royal command. And here's another royal command. When you have a fairy picnic, always take an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Big Bad Barry! <laughs> I say, I'm getting a little hungry. Me too. I think I fancy fish and chips. We don't have any fish, Your Majesty. What? No fish? But I can magic up some fish fingers. Yum, yum. I like fish fingers. No, no. I want fresh fish. Fresh from the lake with chips. I know. Ben's dad has a fishing bite. Then we shall go and see Ben's dad. It's time we put the boat away for the winter, Ben. I'm pleased Bunty has made it through the summer with no accidents. What kind of accidents? The kind where the boat gets eaten. Eaten? Yes. Have I never told you the story of Big Bad Barry the fish? No. It was a dark and stormy night. I was sailing in my favourite boat when suddenly... A fish! A fish, Mr. Elf. What's that? I want a fish for dinner with chips. Oh. So we'd like you to take us out on the lake to catch one. I was just putting Bunty away for the winter. Who's Bunty? My boat. Well, one more trip won't do any harm, will it? I'd rather not. Um, she might get wet. Mr. Elf, your king commands you. OK. Climb aboard. <laughs> You'll have to leave your wands here. Magic isn't allowed on elf boats. And, and where else? <laughs> Let's get going. I'll do the steering. Hang on a minute. You might be king on land, Your Majesty, but on this boat, I'm the captain, so I'm in charge. All right, captain. As long as I get a fish, Holly and Ben, wind the engine. Aye, aye, Captain. King Thistle, take the wheel. Okie dokie, Captain. Ho oh ho, this is fun. Turn ship to starboard. What? <sighs> Turn right. Why didn't you say so? At sea, we don't say left and right. We say port and starboard. Isn't that a bit silly? <laughs> we'll fish from the stern. Where's that? <sighs> the back of the boat. Come with me. Fishing is a tricky business. You must have the right type of bait. What kind of bait are we using today? Stale bread. Stale bread? Who likes stale bread? Should we put some butter on it, Dad? And jam? Yes. We're not going to catch anything with stale bread, old boy. Stick a bit of jam on it. Stop! I'm the captain, so while we're aboard Bunty, we do what I say. Aye, aye, aye captain. captain! Now be quiet. Fish don't like noise. Very bossy, isn't he? This is so exciting. Shh, everybody. Now we wait. Are you sure this is right? Of course I'm sure. Come on, let me have a go. Fine, you'll see. 
It takes time to catch a fish. I've caught a fish. Holly, grab the net. Get ready to catch it. Well done, Daddy. Wow, it's big. It's a whopper, all right. And I caught it. It's only a little tiddler. It must be the biggest fish in the lake. It's too small. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen. I've seen bigger. Much, much bigger. Really? Really. It was many years ago when I first met Big Bad Barry. Big Bad Barry? Who's that? Only the biggest, hugest, most giganticest fish the world has ever seen. No! It was a dark and stormy night. I was out sailing in my favourite boat, Hilda, when I first saw Big Bad Barry. I knew straight away I had to catch him. I had to be the fisherman who took him home for the biggest fish dinner in history. I tried several different baits before I found what Barry liked. Cheese. Cheese? Cheese. I put a bit of cheese on the line and Barry was hooked straight away. The only thing was, he was stronger than my old boat Hilda was. Bad Barry dragged my poor boat Hilda all over the lake. And when he'd finished that, he ate her. He ate Hilda? It sounds horrid. It was. So you built Bunty to replace Hilda? No. First, there was Doris. Then Peggy. There was Abigail, Fifi and Trixabel. Not forgetting Sabrina, Vicky and Miss Boo Boo. Barry ate them all. <gasps> I tried to catch Barry so many times, but he was always too strong. So that's where all the cheese went. In the end, I gave up. Big Bad Barry is still out there, somewhere. Ooh. Incredible! I have come to a royal decision. We must catch Big Bad Barry and have him with chips. Hooray! No, we mustn't. I don't want to lose another boat. Not Bunty. Anyway, there's no cheese on the boat. I won't allow it. Barry can smell cheese a mile away, even a mile cheddar. Good. I've got some cheese in my picnic hamper. We can use that. Ah! Cheese on board! Quick, get rid of it before it's too late. What did you do that for? I told you, it's dangerous to have cheese on board. Luckily, I also brought a nice Stilton cheese we can tempt Barry with. No, I refuse to help. Then we'll do it without you. I'm taking charge. Hooray! Ah! It's mutiny! Mutiny on the bunty! We'll catch this Barry and have him with chips. Ben, take the wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. Holly, hold the net. Aye, aye. Here, Barry, Barry. Barry! Come on, Barry. Where are you? It's not working. Here, Barry! Come on, boy! Oh, if we're going to catch Big Bad Barry, let's do it properly. Yes! You must do what I say as soon as I say it. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain! Big Bad Barry is too big for that rod. We'll use this rod. Wow! You wanted to meet Big Bad Barry? Here's your chance. Excellent! Now we wait. But not for long. Look! It's him! It's Big Bad Barry! What a fish! We'll be eating him for weeks! He's got the cheese! Start the engine! Full set! Yes, we are. Bad Barry is pulling us backwards. Hang on! We've got him! We've got him! I think he's got us, Daddy. Holly's right. We should never have tried to catch Bad Barry. He's too big! He's too bad! We 
have to let him go! Never! Aha! He's given up! I don't think so. He's eating the lime! Ah! Then he can have it. I give in. Sorry we tried to catch you, Barry. No hard feelings, eh? Ah! He's eating Banty! Launch the lifeboat! Abandon ship! Women, children and kings first! Oh, Banty! Hello, everyone. The chips are ready. Where's the fish? Oh, what's going on? Big Bad Barry is eating Bunty. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, dear. Do you think Barry would like some chips with that? I think he's full. Alas, poor Bunty. I knew her well. Right. What should we have for dinner, then? I think I'd like... Fish fingers. With chips! <laughs> <laughs>